Assessment should focus on the following. Assessment helps in determining the patient's need for a certain intervention or procedure. It provides information about the patient's current status. The assessment data will also be used in comparing with the result of post-assessment for evaluation. Next, the equipment or the materials needed are First, perform hand hygiene. Again, hand hygiene is always done prior to any intervention or patient interaction. This is done to prevent the transmission of microorganisms. Magandang araw po, Miss Smiley. Ako po dito si Student Nurse Alex. Kamusta na po kayo? May mga kaiba po ba kayong nararamdaman? Masakit po ba? Hindi naman po. Okay po. So, bali, andito naman po ako ngayon para po tignan at linisin po yung ipinasok po natin sa iyo, pati na rin po yung pweta po ninyo. So, kailangan po natin itong gawin para po um, bawasan o matanggal po natin yung mga mikrobyo na maaaring magdulot po ng infection sa inyo. Ayos lang po ba yun? Okay po. Salamat po. Um, Miss Marley, bali gagamit po din tayo ngayon ng sabon. Uh, may allergy po ba kayo doon? Wala naman po. Okay po. I have here two basins. So, this first basin contains warm soapy water and this second basin contains warm water only for rinsing. So, I would also like to check the temperature. So, it should be warm. It should not be too cold or too hot. So, I will be checking using my elbow. Okay. Okay. I also have here three towels. So, the first towel will be dipped here in the warm soapy water. The second towel will be used for rinsing. And the third towel will be used for drying. We should prepare and change bed linens if indicated. But in this case, our patient's linens are all new and we will only be changing it if it gets wet or soaked with water, which is not good because the bacteria or the microorganisms can thrive in moist or wet areas. Next is to provide privacy. Miss Smiley, sana ko lang po yung mga kortina, ha? So providing privacy decreases embarrassment and it maintains the client's dignity and it also lets the client be comfortable during the procedure. I will now don non-sterile gloves to prevent microorganism transfer and exposure to patient's body fluids. I will lower the side rails and place the linen saver under the patient's buttocks. So, Miss Miley, pakibend lang po yung kaliwang tuhod. Okay, tas hawak lang po kayo kay nurse na nasa kabilang side. And, tagilid po. Tapos ilalagay lang po ako. Para po hindi po mabasa yung inyong kama. Yung kanang tuhod naman po, yung pakibend, and hawak po kayo sa akin. Pagilip po. Miss Miley, buka ka po kayo and pakitaas po or pakibend po yung dalawa po ninyong tuhod. So, this position is called dorsal recumbent position. So, this allows the access to the perineal area of the patient. Next, cleanse the suprapubic and the pubic area with soapy cloth and rinse with water. So, this will reduce the additional microorganisms in preparation for the procedure. I will now examine the catheter insertion site. So, this will help in determining if there are any irritations or possible complications that needs medical attention. Um, Ms. Miley? Itaas ko lang po ng kaunti yung inyong kumot. Okay lang po ba? Titignan ko lang po kung may pamamaga or pamumula po. Okay po. Salamat po. Uh, wala naman po ba kayong nararamdaman na kakaiba? Na masakit o mahapde? Wala naman. Salamat po. Miss Mighty, umpisahan ko na po yung paglilinis ha. 
Bali, ang gagamitin ko po ay maligamdam na tubig. So, I will dip this first towel here in the first basin, which contains warm soapy water. Then, I will wrap the towel around my hand like this. Then, this first side will be used in cleaning the side of the genital area. Then, this side is for the other side of the genital area. Then, this side is for this part. Then I will be using the second towel for rinsing. Then I will also be cleaning the holy catheter. So with warm soapy water, the top. Just be careful not to tug the catheter. Then the other part of the towel under it. Next, I will rinse it. After that, I will be trying it. Always remember that we should not rub it and we must just pat it. Okay, we're done. Additional information, if there is an excessive purulent discharge, we may use non-irritating antiseptic solutions on cotton balls to cleanse the area. I will grasp the penis firmly. Then be careful not to pull on the catheter. Then cleanse the urinary meatus and glands. So beginning at the urethral opening. And if there is... Or the client is uncircumcised, so retract the foreskin. Then cleanse in a circular motion, moving from the meatus outward toward the shaft of the penis. So this cleanses the meatus without cross-contaminating and also to cover all the areas. So I will use cotton balls. Then the other side of the cotton ball. Okay. And again. On the other side of the cotton ball. Then I will also cleanse around the catheter. I will clean the catheter tube from the insertion site distal to 4 inches or 10 cm. Again, be careful not to pull on the catheter. So, we should also note and remove any dried secretions if there's any. So, in this way, we are cleaning from clean to dirty area of the catheter. 
Then we will rinse the area thoroughly. Again, same way. So, if ordered, we may apply bacteriostatic ointment around the catheter site. So, this removes potentially irritating agents and retards the growth of bacteria and infection. Then after that, I will dry the genital area with the towel. So, I'm just pat it. Another side of the towel. Then we will discard the bath water, the towel, and the washcloth in the proper receptacle. This is done to decrease clutter and reduce microorganism transfer. Using the tape, I will secure the catheter loosely on the tie. So I will position the tubing on the side wherein the drainage bag is falling from. I will also ensure that the tubings are not being caught up on the railings or is or are obstructed. So this is done to stabilize the catheter and prevent accidental dislodgement. After that, I will clear the bed of all equipment. Miss Smiley, tapos na po tayo. Kamusta po pakiramdam nyo? Baba lang po natin yung legs mo, ha? Buti naman po at okay lang po kayo. Yung position nyo po ba ngayon? Comfortable naman na po ba kayo? Gusto nyo po bang iangat po yung bada sa ulo nyo? Hindi na po. Okay na po kayo dyan? O sige po. Taas ko lang din po yung side wheels nyo ha, para po sa safety nyo. And kung may kailangan po kayo, pindutin nyo lang po yung colleague nyo na nandyan po sa gilid. Salamat po! Then gather and discard or restore all the additional equipment to promote a clean environment. Remove and discard the gloves in the proper receptacle and perform hand hygiene to reduce microorganism transfer. And lastly, for the documentation, the following should be noted on the client's chart. Documentation is very important. Aside from it has a legal purpose, it also lets the nurse and the other members of the healthcare team know about the current state or progress of the patient. It also facilitates continuity of care and notes how the patient tolerated the procedure. Evaluation lets the healthcare provider know if the procedure is effective or not. 